Hey, I'm Adam with Uniblock Pump. Today I'll be showing you how to replace a single mechanical seal on a Uniblock positive displacement pump. This process will cover the PD300 through the 575 series. Before we get started, it is important to follow uh, your company's lockout tagout procedures. For this Uniblock PD400 series pump, the tools you are going to need are going to be a 17 millimeter open end wrench, a 17 millimeter socket, a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, a four millimeter Allen wrench, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a rubber mallet, a non-metallic object such as a screwdriver handle, a small pick, a torque wrench, and two flathead screwdrivers. For a tool list of what you will need to perform maintenance on other Uniblock PD series pumps, please refer to our online manual at uniblockpump.com. I'm going to use the 17 millimeter open end wrench to remove the acorn nut off of the front cover. Now I'm going to move on to loosen my rotor bolts to remove the rotor. You'll want to use something non-metallic uh, like a screwdriver handle to prevent the rotors from turning while you loosen the rotor bolt. When you remove your rotors, you're going to want to be sure to keep the top rotor oriented in the same spot. So when it goes back together, you're put, putting the top rotor back in in the top position. Uh, there's going to be a marking on your drive shaft and there will also be a marking inside the flat spot on the rotor to indicate that that is the top position. And we'll use a pick to remove the O-ring that sits behind the rotor. Now I'm going to loosen my shaft guard screws. And I will use the 17 millimeter wrench to loosen the rotor bolts on the back side of the rotor housing. We'll use a rubber mallet to gently tap on the side of the port to remove the housing. It's important to keep, keep your rotor housing as straight as possible when pulling it off in order to not damage any part of your mechanical seal. Remove the screws on the retainer for the primary seal.
All right now I will remove the two retainers and the seal. I'll go ahead and pull the secondary seal off of the shaft. I'm going to put a rotor bolt back in so that I'll be able to turn my shaft so I can get to all of my set screws. There's going to be three set screws on this particular pump. The 500 series will have uh, four set screws on each seal collar. And that is how you remove a single mechanical seal from a Uniblock PD series pump. All right, now we will begin to reassemble the single mechanical seal. My first step is gonna to be to put my seal collar on. It's a good idea to keep your alignment pins horizontal on the shaft like so. Uh, that's going to have both seals in the exact same position and you'll be able to access two of your set screws at the same time when you go to tighten your mechanical seal. Now I'm going to install my secondary seal onto the shaft. You want to put some grease inside that o-ring as well as around the shaft. Keep in mind when installing a new seal into your pump, it's extremely important to keep your seal surface area free from any type of debris. It's a good idea to use a, a lint-free cloth in order to avoid any, any contamination on your surface area because it could prevent the seal from making